Hello, I am so sorry that I could not attend the um, cleanse meeting last night, but I wanted to make a quick video. Um, I had a rough day yesterday. I came home and um, there was an infestation of lice at my kid's school and um, I checked my children's heads and they both had lice. So um, it was a bit dramatic and we had to clean their heads and clean all the sheets and bag the toys and whatnot. So I apologize, but I wanted to go through the agenda and just get into a little more detail about how to utilize the cleanse. Um, and so I'm bringing the Ayurvedic perspective. I know Elizabeth talked about our how and our why, um, but I want to talk about the Ayurvedic perspective and why we cleanse in the fall. I know that Elizabeth also mentioned you can do this at any time, which is true, um, but I do encourage you to do it with a group. It makes it um, much more sustainable when you know that you're doing it in partnership with others and, um, and that we're all here to support one another. Um, um, so why do we cleanse in the fall? Um, we cleanse really seasonally, um, but the two major times is in the spring when we're leaving the winter and um, the summer when we're going into the fall. So we're, we're leaving a hot season uh, where we have a lot of, um, you know, fruits and vegetables um, that we've had all season long. And we're going into the cold uh, winter when um, all of these seasonal vegetables are not as available. And the types of foods that we eat change, um, and there's more of a likelihood for um, us, you know, to get colds or flus in the fall. So getting any toxicity out of the body or getting any um, uh, heat that's left in the body um, from the summer to, you know, leave the body and get the body adapted for this, this cold season that's coming upon us um, is why we do it from an Ayurvedic perspective. Um, and also that the foods that are available to us this time of the year are exactly the foods that we should be eating. So um, we're not going to have, you know, the midsummer fruits and vegetables. Um, you know, there's not as many tomatoes around, but we're getting into uh, where there'll be a lot of root vegetables like carrots and beets and parsnips and turnips, you know, and all of these root vegetables are really good for the body as we go into Bata season. We need that hearty um, elemental quality uh, to support our bodies. Um, and so it's natural that we would want to eat warming foods as we go into the fall versus the cold foods of the summer. Um, and so the foods that are um, good for the vata season, um, surprisingly, this might surprise you, but salty uh, pacifies the vata dosha, um, sweet and sour. So if you are a body type that's prone to gain weight, you would want to stick with the sour foods, like the fermented foods. So eating like kimchi, eating, um, eating, you know, pickled vegetables, um, uh, you know, kimchi, I'm trying to think, um, those the other ones, there's any, any fermented foods will be good for your body. Um, creating that sour quality, you can make like a bone broth soup and, um, and add, you know, any fermented things you wanted to that or have it as like an accoutrement on the top. Um, but we want to clear out any digestive sludge that's still in our system so that we don't have an extra burden on our bodies when we go into the fall. Um, so this cleanse has uh, a green tonic in it, a recipe for that. You can make, you know, use all the greens that are still avail available, like, you know, kale, um, collard greens, like all of these greens, you can make this like nice smoothie. I don't like to drink it as a smoothie because you're really not supposed to drink it cold. You're supposed to drink it warm. It's like making a soup and then adding like parsley on top or, you know, cilantro again is a cooling herb. Um, but you can make this um, green tonic soup that's in a recipe book. And then we have a beet salad, which is amazing. Everyone who's had this beet, uh, beet, um, this beet tonic uh, loves it. And um, it's super, super easy to make. You can make it in like 10 min minutes, make a big batch of it, and then eat it all week. Um, so, so there's two things that really help clear out the liver and the gallbladder. And then, um, you know, we have a bone broth recipe in there, uh, a kitchery recipe. Um, so ideally, like once, and you can consult with me and I can tell you what's good for your body type. Uh, if you want to lose weight, I suggest intermittent fasting as long as you can. 16-8 is ideal, but if you can go 
um, if you're trying to lose weight, you'd want to go up to 16 and then only eat during an eight hour period. If you're not trying to lose weight, um, the kitchery can be really nourishing and eating, you know, the bone broth soups are really nourishing for anyone who's trying to not lose weight, but detoxify the body. Um, so you can start with like, um, a protein shake in the morning, or you can eat the kitchery. Um, but you can do a protein shake in the morning if you're, if you're just trying to detox and not, and we put some examples of ones that you can have, and I'd be glad to talk to you about that more. Um, and then, you know, for lunch, have the kitchery or kitchadi. You can have that for dinner again, too. Or if you want to add in like a, a bone broth soup for dinner, um, all the recipes are there in the recipe book. Uh, Bhavana with Bhavana Bharti Foods has um, offered to make kitchery and you can buy it for seven or 10 days. I think she's selling it eight and 16 ounces. And all you would do is take boiling water, like a cup of boiling water and pour the kitchery in there. It's ready. Saute some vegetables with, um, with the uh, digestive herbs that I've suggested and then eat those. Uh, this doesn't have to be complicated. Um, make it as simple as you can for you so that you can ensure success. Um, so I went over the beet tonic, the green tonic. Uh, you can eat a lot of green tart apples. Um, those are really, really good for getting uh, the lymph, lymph system moving and for the liver and gallbladder. The kitchery is highly nourishing and all of the herbs that are in the kitchery are there. Um, they're antimicrobial, antifungal, antibacterial, anti-inflammatory. I mean, these herbs, uh, Cumin, coriander, fennel, and turmeric are amazing. Um, Bhavana with Barty Foods, I have her making a digestive blend for us. So you're welcome to buy that. You can get a little container for $4. Um, so again, make it simple. You can buy the kitchery from her if you don't want to make it $4 for that. You know, protein shake, you just put the protein powder in, um, water. If you don't want to make the bone broth, you can go to uh, Rainbow Blossom or Whole Foods and do that. Um, and then lots and lots of hydration. I have a list of all the seasonal foods to eat, the spices that are good for the fall, and uh, how to utilize those spices. And um, if you haven't done an Ayurvedic assessment with me to know your body type and how to eat and, um, and exercise for your body type, then I would recommend doing an Ayurvedic health consult with me at some point. Um, and then I know Elizabeth talked about your what, your why, and your anger, getting really clear on what you want to accomplish. Like that's more important than anything else. Like if you can just get really clear on what you want and be really mindful about what it is that you want to achieve, then that's going to move you through the cleanse. But it's first to get really good and clear on where you are at, what you are capable of doing, what you are not capable of doing it right now, what you want to do and what you want to achieve and what you feel is too far off for you at this point. Um, and the last thing I want to talk about is the power of habit. So the other important reason of doing a cleanse um, and doing it with a group um, in this format is that um, 80 to 90 percent of our thoughts are recycled every single day. It's proven by science. So we stay in this like kind of like this rat race or like this hamster wheel of like thinking and doing the same things all the time. So whatever we can do to create new um, habits and do that for an extended period of time, it becomes like a neuroplasticity. If we can integrate one habit, just one thing, and be good at that one thing, like during the cleanse, you know, like I'm gonna drink my protein shake every morning, or I'm going to hydrate every day, that's important for me, hydration. Just that one thing, and make that your goal, that that's your, your plan, um, then you can get through, uh, you, you can create a new pattern for yourself that hopefully you will sustain once the cleanse is over. And last but not least, the, um, when you're cleansing from an Ayurvedic perspective, I talked about the how, power of habit and the dynamic group, you know, component to it. Um, but uh, it's important to like create an emotional detox for yourself to see what it is that you're holding on to that you need to let go of. Like if you can let go of it in your mind, you can let go of it in your body. Like if you feel like you're carrying extra weight around and you have that in your mind that you've got like guilt or burden or all these things that are like weighing you down, if you release those thoughts, like again, creating that power of that habit and release that, you'll be surprised that like the weight can shed off too because you're releasing old ideas. Um, so the mind body, uh, Complex is just, I mean, I, I love this now. It's not mind body, like this whole Western way of looking mind body, that it's body mind, that it is one complete integrated system. 
and that you're mentally detoxing. And if you can add med meditation, even if you just like said, my cleanse is meditation. I'm going to like declutter my mind, detoxify all that's not serving me. Um, and yeah, if you're wanting to get into the intermittent fasting, um, I'd be glad to talk to you that too. So I'm so sorry I didn't make it last night. Uh, in the cleanse, you will get a workbook for self-inquiry. And if you just did that alone, that would be huge. And then there is a how to detox book, like what you buy, you know, what you can do. And then, um, so there's the the workbook and then there's the recipe book. So you'll get a workbook for self-inquiry, a how to do it and a recipe book. And if all of this seems overwhelming and you just want to set up an Ayurvedic consultation with me and have me work, walk you through it, I mean, I'll be available throughout the cleanse. Um, I'm sorry again, I couldn't make it last night. I hope you listen to this video and uh, thank you. I'll end it now if I can figure out how.